Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. And Ransom wants to introduce you to... Who is that, Ransom? Uh, Steven. Steven? <laughs> That's a random name. Steven the Fox. Steven the Fox just got uh, to Walker Farm today. It's Valentine's Day, and Ransom must have got that at school, did you? From Nana. Oh, you like him? Ransom loves stuffies. If you don't know that, Ransom loves loves the stuffies. But he's, he's got, got plenty 50, of them. Thousand of them. Yeah, he's he's got lots and lots of stuffies. So you just saw the boys playing a little bit of basketball. They love coming out here on this nice days like today. We encourage them to get outside, especially when they get home from school, run some energy off, so they'll sleep good tonight. Yes, and we had snow, and then it got warm, and then when. Dutch and Kevin brought the pigs. It was freezing cold. 24 degrees. <laughs> and today it's warm. So my allergies are not happy if I sound weird. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ransom's getting heavy. He's like 40 pounds now. Ah, I don't buy it. 38, maybe. So <laughs> you guys can see the pigs back there. It's We've had them, what, three, four days? Yeah. And we already have a problem with the pigs. So we're not going to fix it right offhand. We're going to get out there in a minute and take care of it. First, we have to check on the goats because Cassie said she saw our biggest nanny that you guys have seen. That we thought would be first. For so long. Who's going last. Laying on her side. So let's head out there and check her out. So you guys know the routine. Before you can ever feed any other animal, Alvin and Alfred have to get fed. So boys, let's get over here and get your food. Lulu, it's your turn too, sissy. Alvin and Alfred, come on. So Alvin and Alvin got fed, now it's time for the goats. So before we go in and check out the goats, Zena's going to go up in her little uh, side pen right here just to uh, keep her from getting in the middle of our business and trying to protect the goats while we're checking on them. So everybody's been asking what babies are what. We've been leaving them alone as much as we can um, so we don't bother them, but I just caught this one and it's a girl. So the twins have been one of each. Oh, I know. That one has the cutest spot on its side, too. Show that. It looks like a goat, kind of. What does that look like to you guys? It kind of looks like a dog. Can you see it? Yeah, I don't know what it looks like. When it's when it's down running around, it looks different. Yeah. So this is a girl. The twins are one of each. Um, this mom over here is in the process. So maybe we can get that on video. Well, I thought she was pushing, but then she ended up getting up, so... I do want to get a little close and look at her and make sure she doesn't need any help. Um, we have only had to help our cows uh, once. We've only had to pull a cow once in all the years we've been doing this. So um, it's not something we do often, but if they need help, they need help. How are you, Mama? I don't want to interrupt you or stress you, but I want to make sure you're okay. You sure have enough milk for several. Alright, I'll leave you alone for now. I'm going to keep watching you out the window, though. So Ranger, or Ranger went and got her a bucket. Just set it down, buddy, and walk away. So she could eat on her own. She's cute, isn't she? Yeah. No better.
Did you get your one? So while we're waiting on mama to have her babies, maybe, maybe not. Um, this is one of the shadows. This is the boy. And he's the first boy that was born on her farm. And me and Mazzy talked about it and decided that his name is Bruno. So this we is We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno unless you're talking about this Bruno, then it's okay. <laughs> they're so soft. Mazzy told me that's they were the softest thing. And they are. They're they're so cool. So, have you told everybody who the dad is? Because we thought the dad was different. Oh, yeah. We were wrong. I was completely wrong. We'd, we had thought that the dad was um, PewDiePie, who we got from Moorhead Homestead. An actual uh, timeline, we looked back, and six months um, before these guys were born, we had JFK. So, that's Jerk Face's kid, Jerk Face Jr.'s son, I think is the way it goes, Kevin's um, buck, Jerk Face's Jerk face is uh, descendant. So there you go. So there's JFK's uh, jerk face lives on. Another male. Ready? Oh, she's eating out of that bucket. Ranger got her now. Huh? White. That one's got white spots. No, it's fully white. It's got some. It's got spotted. It's white with some gray and black on it, huh? Yep. This is a real. And a boy, too. So many boys. All right, what do you guys think that looks like on this baby's side? <laughs> so the boys pulled Gravy in. Gravy's one of our goats that was born a while back. But they wanted to play with a little goat, and right now I think Gravy's nice and hearty and ready to play with. We'll give those babies a couple days. We pet on them and loved on them, but the mamas were wanting to get them back, so we didn't want to keep them too long. And Gravy is a pygmy goat. That's why he's so small. He's older. He's just little because he's pygmy. Yeah, he's little and pygmy. And he's All really right. fat. He is fat, isn't he? Yeah. Gravy gets plenty of biscuits and gravy. No, plenty of goat feed. Yeah, plenty of goat feed. Is he soft, Ransom? Yeah. You love gravy? Yeah. All right. Give Gravy a little bit more lovings and it's time for him to go back. I think he's going to... He's my buddy. He is your buddy, ain't he? Look. We need to get a, you want to get a leash for gravy and start leading them around like a puppy dog? Yeah. You think he'd learn to lead? Yeah. I don't know if he would or not. Gravy? Because he's really fast. He's really fast? Yeah. He might pull you around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might He might go everywhere. I don't know. Even He might even take me. He might ram me into something, too. Like gravy. You ain't never going to do that. <laughs> All right, Gravy. Ready to go back to the herd? Yep. All right, let's let him out. Yeah. Gravy knows where to go. <laughs> Bye, Gravy. Doing a good job, Mama. Keep it up. Push him out. Here they come. How amazing, how amazing God's creations are. There's one, Mama. Good job. There's one. Good job. Welcome to the world, baby. Happy Valentine's Day.
Welcome to Earth. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got it's mostly white. It's like it's got a black head. Come here, Zena. Zena, come. Come on, let's let Mama be for a minute. Good job. So this is one of our Bodark Kiko nannies. You can see that tag in her ear. She's came from Bodark Kiko goats. If you guys haven't checked him out, he's got some awesome goats and raises some great nannies. Um, we actually got these from Keeping It Dutch, but he had got them from Bodark. We thought that this would be the first goat to go, and she's actually the fourth out of five. So that tells you how much we know about goat farming. We're newbies, Zena. We're newbies to this, aren't we? You're a newbie. I'm a newbie. Luckily, these nannies have a little experience, though. They're not newbies. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to do anything. Just going to let her be. The weather tonight, I think the low is about 45 or 50, so... They don't have to be in a shelter. There's no wind. And, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You guys are wondering where Zena's at. She's right here. Hey girl. I don't usually let you stand up on me, but I want to keep you content over here. You set? Good girl. Good girl, Zena. Can you sit? Can you sit? Good girl. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna watch this baby a little bit longer. Then we got more chores to do. If you guys are wondering if I'm the only audience around here, nope. Look who else is watching. These are calves, they know something's up. They say, that ain't normal. I don't see that every day. Just about got it caught, all cleaned up. Now the question is, is she going to have another one? So we're going to we're going to let her hang out, get this baby taken care of, and we're going to head back to the house and uh, we'll check on her a little later and see if she had another one. But you guys saw it live, our first live birth we've ever caught here on Walker Farm, and uh, that was pretty amazing. God's uh, creations never cease to amaze us. Uh, it's just a prime example right there. Mama's going to finish cleaning her up, and I guarantee you she'll be up and walking around. Oh, oh, she's trying to get up. She's sitting in a pool of afterbirth, though. Oh, come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Back on up, buddy. That'll do. Hey, guess what? What? We just had another baby goat born. We did? Yeah, Daddy got it on video. You want to watch it later? All right, we can watch it later. Wait, he already, her already had it? Yep. Yeah. We'll go check her after we fix the pig pen uh, shelter, and we'll uh, we'll check her out, okay? All right, let's get our tools. All right, Ransom, you going to haul it over there? All right. I'm going to go slow. Slow? That'll work. You can go fast, I don't think it'll fall out. So if you guys ever wonder why we have Ransom hauling tools here on the farm, it's because everybody needs a job, right Ransom? You're stuck. Uh-oh, I gotta push him. So everybody needs a job, sometimes everybody needs a little push, ready? 
And when Ransom gets to uh, to do that, when he gets to haul tools out with his little pickup or haul the the pig uh, feeder stuff like that, it makes him feel like he's got a job to do. And I, I I think that he needs a job to do. And he's a good hand, aren't you, Ransom? Yep. All right, ready to get in there? All right, so update on the pigs. As you can see, they're doing great. And look at the work they're doing right here on the garden, Ransom. Yep. They got their little tillers out, their little snouts going. You can see how much brown they have on their nose. And uh, they're getting after it. They're working the garden over spots. Uh, they pick spots, like right there is their favorite spot. And their feeder, still got plenty of feed in it. So, Ransom, the problem. You want to go jump in that pig hut and I'll tell people the problem? Let's see if they can spot the problem when you jump in it. You ready? All right, jump in there. Oh, Ransom got in okay. But those pigs are having a hard time getting over this. And last night, they barreled down and slept right here. So Ransom and I are going to bury part of this uh, down to the ground, maybe to about right here. And guess what, Ransom? What? After we bury it, we're going to throw oh, a bell of oh, straw oh. in there. Ah, pigs! Ah! Uh, no, no, you can't eat that. I just bought a new one. God, guys. What'd they do, Ransom? <laughs> they knocked over the tripod. I know, that's what they do. But inside this shelter, it's nice and warm, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. It's really nice inside here. So let's get it out here and get it buried. You ready? Yeah. I've been working in these fields Plowing and planting Trying to make good yields Last year's hailstorm Nearly did me in Not much seed to fill the grain bin My daddy was a farmer So I followed in his shoes not because I had to, now nah, it was something I wanted to do. There's something about the clean air and the smell of fresh dirt. And putting in an honest day of hard work. The debt goes up and the dollar goes down. But every year they put it in the ground. Willing to make that sacrifice Even though they might lose half the price There's a line of old trucks on Main Street Headed back and forth Their beds filled with wheat Busiest time of year this town has seen since last fall when the boys were hauling beans. Daddy, I'm, I'm, the debt goes I'm up and the dollar this. goes down. Daddy. What, buddy? You might want to you might wanna dig farther. Well, I'm about ready to set it back down. We'll see how the fit is, okay? Hey, remember? When I got this, you got to step back, okay? Even I wanted you to get hit. Might lose half the price. All these farms and all these fields It's what runs this country And everything she builds The debt goes up and the dollar goes down But every year they put it in the ground Willing to make that sacrifice Even though they might lose half the price Even though they might lose half the price Daddy, 
Daddy, look. Daddy, look over here. Mm. See? Yeah, that's okay. We just want the front to be low, bud. Here, here like now, now pour the dirt around it. See? So you can see we've got the shelter. Instead of that foot up, it's going to be about maybe four inches. And Ransom's going to take dirt. We're going to pile it right around here, right around the entryway. Is here. And right back there. Nope, just right back, right in the front, buddy. Right here is where we want it. So I'm going to help him do that. Wait, and, uh, make, a, make a walkway. Make a walkway? Hey, pigs. Hey, pork chop. Bacon. Bacon. Guys, stay away from the fence. It's not lights right now, okay? Look, pork chop. Listen, guys. Let's make life easy for all of us, all right? You guys are doing good. Keep it up. All right, Ransom. Our work here is done. You ready to go get a bell straw? Yep. So you guys see, we got that all the way around. Back here in the back, we put dirt up against it so no wind can blow underneath there. And also, I, also I covered this little hole here. You covered that little hole? Right here. All right. So I think we're ready for some straw. Wait, maybe we need to cut it down. We're going to put one bell straw in here. Keep them nice and warm. So when people say they care about the animals that they're consuming, this is what we mean. We care about them. We want them to stay warm at night. We want them to have the best life possible. They've gotten scraps today. They've got unlimited food. They've got fresh water. And uh, they're living out the rest of their days uh, just about as good as a pig can. All right, you gonna back it up? A little more than that'll do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if I can stay in the truck. I'll get it. You ready? Yeah. Let's see if this is going to work out. I think it'll work. One, two, three. Back up a little bit more. We need to, we need to tip it on there. A little more. All right. Now, you got to hold that. Yeah. Perfect. Hey. All right, cowboy. We need... We need that special delivery to the pig pen. You can go fast. All right here. Bring it all the way up here. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little more. A little more. Perfect. Now we can load our tools up. It's in the perfect spot. Wait, now we need to go back in there with our tools. Yeah, right no, there. no, we don't need our tools anymore. We're going to put this hay in there. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, we'll need to go cut it. Can I go? Can I cut it? Yeah. You got your pliers? Make the pliers. All right, you ready, buddy? Yep. All right. One day's going to drag it in here. And then we can cut it. You want to show them your pliers? Yeah. You think I can do it, guys? You think Ransom can do it? <laughs> Daddy, you're so tiny. Daddy, do you want me to come in there? Yeah, come on in. Uh, We're going to cut this thing up. Get on that side. All right, ready? Let's do it. Put it right here. I want to tell you when to squeeze. Ready? One. Oh, hang on. You guys are worse than goats. Why are you doing that, man? They knocked our camera over again. Wires. I hope it's still working. All right, let's do this. Can I do it by myself? Uh, if you can do it. I, I okay, can. ready? I can. Right there. Squeeze tight. Uh, ready? Did I give you a little help on the top? Ready? One, two. Pigs, get back. Oh, there goes that one. They're a little bit hard, buddy, okay? I need my shovel. Best thing about I'm, I'm 
Okay. Straw is getting the wire. All right, so now we're just going to take this straw. We're going to kick it around in there. Pigs will get in there and kind of do the rest. Yeah, that's what Mama said to the chicken. Get the, they would get the work. That's what Mama said? Yeah. Now, now they both have beds, right? Yeah, now they got a nice warm bed. Can I go in there? <laughs> yeah, you can go in there. You go check it out? Yeah. I'm going to step on the hay a tiny bit and, like, curl it around. So they're all set up. They should be able to get in and out of that easy if they want to. Hey, what do you got in your mouth? Ow! Ow! Oh, he stepped on my toe. Pig, <laughs> that hurt. That's what you don't. What you don't. Please. I'm trying to see what he's got in his mouth. He don't want to give it to me. Did you drop it? Uh, maybe it's just dirt or stick. Trying to make sure you don't have no plastic or nothing in there. Looky there. So if that isn't a nice warm spot for the pigs, I don't know what is. Uh, it's getting a little darker out here, darker than I wanted it to be. But we caught that kid being born and it was well worth it. So now, we get to see the pigs go in and enjoy their new home. And I don't know if I told you this, but it's going to be cold in about three days, two days. It's going to be in the 30s and we're going to have a chance of sleet and snow. It'll be warm the next day, I'm sure. But I wanted them to have a nice warm place to get in and uh, to get out of the weather. Also a nice comfy spot. Um, getting that lower made them go in and out easier, I think. So besides stepping on my toe, that was a success. Well, now the pigs are taken care of. I'm going to go grab my Olight and uh, get that on my head and go do the rest of the chores. Cat cows still need to be fed and stuff like that. <laughs> And this is what I come into. What happened, Ranger? Ranger, you want to tell people what's happening? Yeah, I don't know. I ate a bunch of and I did a bad thing to eat a bunch so they did it. And they were like, what is the round game water? What kind of hot chips are you eating? Oh, these. So, apparently, they're having a hot chip competition. Uh, oh yeah, Daddy bought these for himself. Scorching barbecue yeah. Pringles, and the can is now empty. All right, guys, you like hot chips, Fuzzy? That was better. <laughs> now, those are ransom hot chips. Ransom, do you really like hot chips? Yeah. Let's try the next one. Hopefully, it's not that spicy. Oh, look at this. Oh. oh. Yo, she just has to try it. <gasps> I get, I guess. All right, there's the uh, the it's hot flavor, but it's spicy. The hot <clears throat> chip excitement. In <laughs> Walker, a Walker Farm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that hot. Is it? Oh, really? Because <laughs> you were just dancing around. So, what would we do without our silly kids? Thank you guys so much for following along. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.